Hi, Kara. We are going to learn a new um, reading strategy today and um, another skill to practice for reading short words. So what you are going to need today is your packet that looks like this and it says, I can sound out words. And you're also going to just need to be patient so I can share my screen. Let me find. Okay, so hopefully you can see this. And just really quickly to review what these things are, this is Mr. Stretch. Stretch, when, when we are utilizing what Stretch tells us to do to help us read a tricky word, he says stretch out the sound. So if you look at the word, um, like this word right here, for instance, he says stretch out the sound. So we would go stretch oh stretch okay that's what he tells you to do now normally you wouldn't do that with such a long word especially in kindergarten but it was a word well look at this one this is the word look right so it would say look so we're stretching out the sounds so that so what we're saying what's coming out of our mouth sounds more like the actual word that we're we're going for um, and so Harriet, Harriet over here says, look at the picture. If there's a picture, a lot of times it gives you a really good clue as to what the word is. So if you're stuck on the word, I don't know, banana, and you know that banana starts with B and there's like a animal eating a banana in the picture, it's a pretty good chance that the word that you're trying to read is banana. So Harriet says, look at the picture. And look at the first letter or two of that word and make sure it makes sense, right? If the monkey is eating a banana and you end up saying monkey, you know, <laughs> does that make sense? No, because monkey starts with M and the word that you're trying to read would start with a B. So connecting your letter sounds to the pictures is a very good idea. And you did that perfectly um, when you read that book to me about the zoo, right? You didn't, technically, you were using Harriet that whole time. You read, I can see a um, penguin, right? You didn't necessarily read penguin. You read the picture, and then you went back, and you said, yep, that looks like the word penguin, okay? Flamingo, same thing. So that's what Harriet teaches us to do. Chunky monkey, which is this cutie down here, um, tells us to look for word chunks that we know. Um, also, I like to say sound chunks that we know um, because we know that there are some letters that when we put them together, they make sounds like S and H. When you put S and H together in a word, it says shh. When you put uh, O and R together in a word, it says or, right? So we know some of those sound chunks, especially if we've been, you know, studying our lively letter chart a lot. Um, you're really going to want to, if you haven't looked at the lively letter chart in a while, that's something that you're going to want to maybe test yourself on. See if you can read every single sound on that lively letter chart that you have. Um, because all the sounds like oi and oo and or and ow, all of those sounds are on that chart. And if you get really good at memorizing those sounds, you're going to be able to see those chunks in words and be able to say the sound like this. Let's go right to that right now because that's where we are. Okay, so for instance, look at this word down here. Let me get a red pen. This word down here. Okay, I see two word chunk sounds right away. I see C and H, which says ch, and I see A and R, and we know that when A is in front of R, R gets really mad and bites A and then takes her sound. So R says R, he gets to be a vowel for just a second, right? So we have ch, R, Mm. Ch arm. Ch arm. Oh, that must be the word charm. Yes, like a 
charm you would put on your necklace or a charm you would put on your bracelet, right? So that is the word charm. How did I read that word so quickly? I used chunky monkey. I said, hey, I know CH says ch and I know AR says R. And then you just slap that m sound on the end, ch arm, okay? This is another method that you can use for chunky monkey, right? So sometimes you might only recognize one word, Chuck. So I'm sitting here and I'm like, oh, ah, us. Well, that doesn't make any sense. Let's, let's try that again. Ah, us. Oh, that still just doesn't sound right. I've never said ah, us before, but this is when I have to remember, wait a second. O and U, one are vowels. And O and U, when they come together in a word, they say ow. Oh, that's right. That's when the toddler is ripping the baby's hair, pulling the baby's hair out, and the baby's screaming ow. Right? So now let now let's try it now that we remembered that oh you says ow ow try it again house that's the word house how did i get that so easily i used a chunk i took a chunk that i knew and i read the word now this is one of my favorite words up here to teach um, word chunks because I can see two secret words inside this one word. I see the word can. Do you see the word can? Yeah. But I also see and, and those are two, both of those are two of our sight words that we're learning right now, right? I can do it. And, oh, I just said it. And, you know, when we're, we're, when we're thinking about salt and pepper, that's the word and, right? So look at, I see and right in this word too. So, hmm, I wonder if I said canned, canned, canned. Oh my gosh, and I know that Y, a lot of times when Y is at the end of a word, it says E. I don't know why it just does. Let's try that. Candy. Oh. <gasps> candy. It's the word candy. Oh, I love Chunky Monkey. Chunky Monkey is the best. So Chunky Monkey helps us a lot, especially if we're really, 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 really good with our letter sounds, okay? And that is why I'm really upset with myself that I didn't send this to you. Um, in the initial packet. So I got to make sure that you get that because this is a way for you to read those sounds and those chunks. Um, and they're all on here, even the aws and the oys and the ands and all of that stuff. Um, <clears throat> so I'm going to make sure that you get this. Um, but until you do get it, use your lively letter chart and go through and say the sounds as fast as you can. Go, shh, oh, oh sorry, shh, shh, mm, right? Mm, k, shh. And just say them over and over again. Anyway, you can't do that until you get this, but you can work on this. Now I'm gonna switch the page here. Just so you can see, I kind of just drew in here what this um, does. All right, so if you look on the screen here, you see two dots that are connected by a line. That's because I want you to blend the first letter and the vowel together, okay? I want you to blend the first letter and the vowel together. So instead of going k -a, we're gonna go ka. Okay, ka, and then you slap on that last sound. Ready? Cat. And then all of a sudden you hear it and you're going to go cat from left to right. Okay, let's try that again. Instead of going 
and right we're gonna say we're gonna blend these two together and we're gonna say fa so so go ahead say it fa n okay and then you're gonna go fan all right all right one more time instead of going k i we're gonna go kit oh it's kit you hear it you hear it so much better when you attach that vowel to the first sound you hear it so much better when you're trying to read so when you get to reading big words like this you'll automatically be able to go candy house right you'll be able to do that much easier and then before you know it you're not even gonna have to stretch out the sound you're just gonna be able to recognize those sounds and say them immediately so with this let me stop sharing for just a second with this it's the exact same thing but see these little smiley faces here okay you have to um i don't have a crayon all right so you're gonna go like this you're gonna go cat cat and then every time you read that, you fill in a smiley face. Use a highlighter or a marker. You fill in a smiley face. Then do it again. Cat. Cat. And then fill in a smiley face. And then do it one more time. Cat. Cat. And that will tell me that you read the word cat three times by blending the first sound with the vowel. You're blending them together. Okay, and do a page every other day or so. I do not expect you to do this whole book in, you know, one day. There's all kinds, there's words for every letter of the, um, not the alphabet, all the vowels. So there's A words, uh, E words, I words, O and U words, and then A's and E's again, and they just keep going. And it's really, really, really good practice. And I'm telling you, if you can get really good at attaching that vowel to the first, to the first letter sound and saying them together and then slapping on the end, your reading is going to get so much better. So really, really, really don't just go cat, cat, circle in, cat, cat, circle it in. I really want you to go cat, cat. Okay, so blend it, slap it on, read it all together. Blend it, slap it on, read it all together, okay? Because you will eventually be able to do it without this. And Mrs. Lewis will be able to show you words just like this, and you're just gonna be able to go cat, hat, fan, map, just instantly, okay? But until you get really good at those vowel sounds, this is how you need to do it, okay? Um, so yesterday you should have done a little bit of this, okay? And today is a good day for you to play shake and spill again, and you can use four chips instead of two chips. And don't forget to do your fill it up today. So you can compare what you can do today to what you did yesterday. Try to beat your score. Let me know if you did. Take a picture of to, uh, yesterday's and today's and let me see how you did. If you didn't beat your score, that's okay. It's always tomorrow, okay? So you've got some shake and spill to play for the number four. So that means that you're going to need four chips. Right, one, two, three, four chips instead of the three chips like you used for shake and spill three. Um, let me see. Oh yes, I'm gonna show you this in a couple of days. That in a couple of days, and I have to send that to you. Okay, you are golden for today, my dear. Um, since you did this yesterday, I'll leave it up to you if you want to do another page of that because I'm giving you shake and spill and fill it up numbers. 
Oh, and don't forget to draw and label and write about your plant, your green bean plant today. And let me know if it got bigger or if it didn't germinate today. Or just let me know. Write a sentence and um, do a, do a scientific drawing of your plant today because we didn't have to do it yesterday. So we should do that every other day. Okay, and that is it for your Thursday. So, oh, let me put this all together. I have all the same things you have, so I can keep track of what you're doing here. Okay, that is it for today. Have fun. Goodbye.